Number 10, cloudy headlights. Headlights are a very important part of the vehicle. As you know, they allow us to see objects on the road in foggy or dark conditions. They're also important for other drivers, as they drastically increase your car's visibility. So important that in many countries, it's mandatory by law to have your headlights on during all parts of the day. Have you ever noticed that your headlights can get pretty cloudy? While many people think the headlights get cloudy on the inside due to pent up moisture, they couldn't be more wrong. Most headlights are made out of plastics and as such are prone to oxidation, which leads to a cloudy substance forming on the outside of the plastic. At a repair shop, cleaning it can cost upwards of $20, but there's a pretty easy and quick way to clean your headlights at home. All you need is toothpaste, a towel, and a bit of elbow grease to rub your headlight clean. Simply squeeze some toothpaste out onto the towel and rub it into the headlight for a good few seconds. When you wipe off the excess paste, you'll notice that your headlight is now as clean as the day you bought it. Number 9. Key Ring Life Hack Most of us have keys, and therefore keychains. These rings are very important to us, as we usually have our house keys, car keys, USBs, and cute memorabilia just stuck in a steel ring. One might even say that they are the key to our lives. Okay, enough, I'll stop there. As we know, it's quite difficult and hard to put and take out objects from a keychain, as using our nails usually ends up with an unchained keychain and a sore finger. You may have also tried using a knife or something else, and while that usually does work, it's pretty dangerous. Luckily, we have a trick for you. Just use a staple remover to push apart the rings of the chain. And once you have it open, pop a coin in there to keep it that way. Now that it's propped open, you shouldn't have too much difficulty wiggling a key into there. Number 8. Heated Pizza Pizza is a food that many people and families rely on, while at the same time considered by many others to be a treat or a luxury. Regardless of which you are, everyone knows that when you pick up a pizza from the store, by the time you get home, the pizza will be all soggy and a tad bit warm. Not hot like most prefer. Microwaving your pizza helps heat it up of course, but not only is that extra work, your pizza is now soggy. Ready for the hack? Those of you with the luxury of owning a car with heated seats, put one and two together and keep the pizza box on the seat with the heater on. Obvious? Yes. Do most of us do it? No. Number 7. No more banging. Since the majority of people in the US use the garage as both extra storage and well, a garage, most of them don't have enough room in the garage to completely open the door, but just enough for them to get out. Unfortunately, due to the cramped nature of these garages, this often leads to the doors of the car being banged against the garage wall as they're being opened, thus damaging the car. Now we all want to make sure our cars are kept scratch free, but it eventually will happen, and currently there are only a couple of cars with door protectors. A simple yet effective way to prevent the contact between the door and the wall is to screw a half cut pool noodle onto the wall. And just like that, your doors are protected, provided you're good at parking in the exact same place every day. Number 6. Fixing up car scratches. No matter how careful we are, all cars eventually get scratches. Depending on the intensity of the scratch, fixing these scratches can cost hundreds of dollars and a trip to the detailer. Luckily, not all scratches do the same amount of damage. Basically, there are two levels of damage, surface and scoring. A scoring scratch goes down into the metal, and in this case, you're pretty much hooped, and there are many home remedies that can patch this up. However, most scratches are surface level, and only go as deep as the paint. To fix these, a detailer would sand the scratch, apply primer, paint, and finally a clear coat to help keep everything looking new. While that will make the scratch look like it never happened, most people can't afford to take a trip to the detailer for every little mark. So here's what you do. Rub the scratched area with light grit sandpaper, buff it with a soft rag and some elbow grease, and then carefully paint it over with a drop of nail polish. Be careful though, as the biggest mistake people use here is too much nail polish. So to be safe, don't use more than a cotton swab worth at a time. With enough alterations between buffing and polishing, the scratch should be nearly invisible after a short while. If you can't find the exact shade, give in and shell out an extra couple bucks for some car scratch paint from any hardware store. Number 5. Restick your unstickable electronics. Have you guys ever used a suction cup holder or mount for your electronics, GPS, dash cams, and phone? Over time, the suction ability gets weaker and weaker. Despite your best efforts, it just won't stick on the windshield anymore. Rather than buying an entire new suction cup mount, you could temporarily use a rubber band to hold your phone or GPS on one of your air vents. Or if that looks too cheap, most hardware stores sell Velcro tape, which you can apply to your electronics to help stick your GPS, backup camera, or any other electronics to your dashboard. 
Number 4. Remove small dents. Dents can be costly to fix, and having them in the first place drastically changes how people view your car. Thankfully for us, there are two very simple methods to fix those dents, provided they're relatively small and not too deep. First way is to use dry ice, which you can order online for around $2 per pound. Park your car somewhere where the sun can reach the dent, and leave it for a few hours to warm up. Then with gloves, apply the dry ice. If all goes according to plan, the rapid chilling of the metal will pop the dent without scratching the paint. The second way involves an air duster and a hair dryer, which hopefully you already have at home. This is a slightly different process, but is still very quick, cheap, and easy to do. Heat up the dent with your heat gun or hair dryer, and then spray the dent immediately with compressed air for around 20 seconds. Fingers crossed, within that time, you will hear a loud pop as the dent disappears. Number 3. De-ice a lock with hand sanitizer. People who live in a cold climate probably have had their doors lock jammed due to the cold. This is caused by moisture buildup in the crevices of the lock, which has then frozen. You can get a bucket of hot water to heat up the lock, but as always, there's a much easier way. Just apply a couple drops of hand sanitizer to your keys, wiggle it into the lock, and soon it should be able to move freely. This works because the rubbing alcohol in the sanitizer has a lower freezing point than water, and as it comes into contact with the ice, it proceeds to melt it just enough to allow the key to turn. Who knew a bottle of hand sanitizer could be used for a non-germ related problem? Number 2. Which side? When in a hurry, we sometimes have a brain fart which unfortunately leads us to very embarrassing situations. When pulling into a gas station, some of us have made the laughable mistake of forgetting which side of the car the fuel door is on, although it is usually on the driver's side. There are more than a few makes of cars where it is on the passenger side. Thankfully, manufacturers thought about this very situation. Simply look at your gas gauge and there should be an arrow underneath the gas icon. The arrow will be pointing left or right, indicating which side the gas cap is on. Seems a little silly, but it can save you some dignity at the pumps. Number 1. De-ice your windshield. This one is once again for all our northerner friends who have to deal with an icy windshield every time they want to go out for a drive. It's the simplest car hack you've ever heard. Park facing east. That's it. Are you shocked by the simplicity? Anyone who's ever gone to school knows the sun rises in the east and sets in the west. Therefore, if your car is facing east, it'll get a good blast of sunshine in the early morning, which should help loosen up all the built up ice and snow. This of course won't work during a blizzard or on super cloudy days, but hey, even if it only melts a bit of ice, parking facing east is not too much work, provided your driveway allows for it. <laughs> 